क्वेश्चन फोर ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज इफ टू जीरोज ऑफ दिस फोर्थ डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल आर टू प्लस माइनस रूट थ्री फाइंड द अदर जीरोज सो वी आर गिवन अ फोर्थ डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल वी आर गिवन टू ऑफ इट्स जीरोज वी हैव टू फाइंड द अदर टू जीरोज सो वॉट रीजनिंग वॉट अप्रोच कैन वी यूज टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वेल लेट्स फिगर इट आउट लेट्स कॉल दिस फोर्थ डिग्री पॉलिनोमियल पी एक्स सो पी एक्स इज x to the four minus six x cube minus twenty six x square plus one thirty eight x minus thirty five. Now two of the zeros of p x are given two plus minus root three, and we have to find the other two zeros of p x. So because two of the zeros are known, we can use these two zeros to write a quadratic factor of px so let's call these two zeros as alpha and beta so alpha is 2 plus root 3 beta is 2 minus root 3 so the sum of these zeros is alpha plus beta so this is equal to 4 and the product of these zeros is alpha beta this is equal to 2 square minus root 3 square so 2 square minus root 3 square Or four minus three or one. So a quadratic polynomial with zeros as alpha and beta can be written as q x as x square minus s x, which is s is four, so minus four x plus p and p is one. So this quadratic polynomial, the zeros of this quadratic polynomial are two plus minus root three. which means that this quadratic polynomial must be a factor of px which means that we can write px as qx times some other polynomial call it rx so qx is a quadratic polynomial which we have already found out and rx will also be a quadratic polynomial and the remaining two zeros of px will be the zeros of rx so what we can do now is we can divide px by qx we can find rx and then we can find the zeros of rx which will be the remaining two zeros of px so let's do that now let's divide px which is this fourth degree polynomial by qx which is x square minus 4x plus 1 so let's write the divisor qx first which is x square minus 4x plus 1 and then we will write the dividend the, the dividend is px x to the 4 minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35 now we will carry out the long division process and divide px by qx okay in the first step we need to turn x square into x to the 4 so the multiplier will be x square and this will generate the terms x to the 4 minus 4x cube plus x square now let's subtract these terms we will get minus 2x cube and minus 27x square and let's bring down the remaining terms so plus 138x minus 35 now in the second step we need to turn x square into minus 2x cube so we will use the multiplier minus 2x and that generates the terms minus 2x cube plus 8x square and minus 2x and now we subtract the terms again so we will get minus 35x square plus 140x and then we will have minus 35 finally in the last step we have to turn x square into minus 35x square so the multiplier we will use is minus 35 and with this multiplier the terms generated are minus 35x square plus 140x minus 35 and this exactly matches the current dividend so the remainder is zero and the division process terminates at this stage which means that the quotient we got is the polynomial rx so rx is the polynomial x square minus 2x 
minus 35 and the zeros of rx are the remaining two zeros of px. So let's find the zeros of rx. For that, we can split the middle term and to split the middle term, we will need two numbers whose sum is minus two and whose product is one into minus 35 or minus 35. These two numbers are five and minus seven. So we can split the middle term as um, minus two x. We can write this as minus seven x plus five x minus 35. And now from the first pair, we can take out the common term x. So this is x minus seven. And then from the second pair, we can take out five. So five times x minus seven. And this means that Rx can be factorized as x plus five times x minus seven. So the zeros of Rx are minus five and seven. These are the zeros of Rx. And these are the remaining two zeros of Px. So the four zeros of Px are two plus minus root three, which were two of the zeros were already given, two plus minus root three. And the remaining two zeros of Px are minus five and seven. And with that, we complete question number four. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.